Welcome to another public service announcement from your friends at Classic Game Room. Don't judge a video game by its cover. This is ExciteBot's Trick Racing. Turning tricks on the Wii has never been more fun. Alright kids, get ready for a surprise because this game that looks like we shovelware trash aimed at kids from a developer you've never heard of ripping off Hot Wheels is actually pretty fun. ExciteBot's Trick Racing, released in 2009, will surprise you, assuming you can buy into the absurdity of it all. Racing giant robot insects and bats and frogs on generic track racing style courses using the Wii controller to steer sounds terrible, doesn't it? But it's actually really good. I'm totally blown away by this one because I expected it to be awful. And it's not. It's not a good racing game, but it is really fun. It's a fun video game. It's extreme to the max with two X's and hard to control at times, but that's just kind of what makes ExciteBots ExciteBots. Everything about this game screams loud and extreme, including the music, which fits the style of gameplay. And this is the first Classic Game Room review using the Wii U. That's right, I picked this game out from our collections to use as one of the old Wii games testing the Wii U. And it's backwards compatibility, which as you can see outputs beautiful visuals for Wii games, far better than the actual Wii does with improved color saturation and detail. When playing this one you have to use the Wii controller to steer and shake it occasionally to do things like this, spinning around on a pole, robot gymnastics, but once you get into the game it, it just all comes together and works. But whoever designed their packaging and logo should be run over by a giant robot because it looks like a cheap Hot Wheels knockoff aimed at kids. And maybe it is, but it plays so much better than that. It really does. Like other kart racing style games, you try to win races but also pull off crazy tricks, destroy opponents, fly through the air, spin, earn stars, and unlock new vehicles. On paper, there's not a lot that separates this game from any other kart racing style game, except it just plays like complete mayhem. Controlled mayhem, but mayhem nonetheless. And once you get into the game and open up the more challenging races, the game does become far more difficult. There's lots of robot monster creature vehicle things to unlock, and even a harder difficulty setting. The track designs are also better than one might expect. There's lots of different ways to drive them, all kinds of hidden things and poles to spin on and stuff to smash. And even though the environments themselves are fairly generic, they look really good, especially on the Wii U, which does a great job up converting this to 1080i. So I've got to give that thing some credit. And also give a big shout out thank you to George from North Brunswick, New Jersey, which I mistakenly called New Brunswick in the final zone review. But it's not my fault, I blame New Jersey for having too many news and Norths in their state to begin with. Anyway, thanks George, and hey, thanks for the Fairchild Channel F, I'm working on fixing one of the controllers. Annoyingly, this game is not backwards compatible with that. ExciteBot's Trick Racing. Don't let the packaging or the fact this is probably in the bargain bin Deceive you, it's actually worth playing if you like kart racing games on the Wii or the Wii U. It also has two player, and while I didn't test it, supposedly plays online as well. Nice landing, giant praying mantis car thing. Excite bots better than you'll expect it to be. Yeah. <laughs> 